Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are in the world. It is October the 15th, and here in sunny Victoria, here in Australia, we're flooding like it's, I don't know, waiting on 40 years. We'll see how long this thing lasts. But there's flooding all around the place. Last night, I had no internet here at all. So I'm kind of glad it's happening now. I was going to have to tether my phone to my Mac and see if I could actually get out that way, even slower than what the internet normally is here. But it's working. How long it works for? Hang around. We'll see how long it actually does work for. There's flooding. We've we've had, where I live here, we've got uh, an annual rainfall of about 330 millimetres. And on Friday, we had about 100 And we live on basically a billiard table. That's how flat this place is. So the water doesn't go anywhere. So it floods. So we'll see how we go. In Melbourne, it's flooding. People are evacuating all over the joint. In about an hour's drive from me here, the whole town's been evacuated. It's uh, interesting times. The sky has been cloudy and cloudy and cloudy. Yesterday, it cleared up for a little bit. That's the clearest day we've had in ages since the last video that I recorded with stars in the sky. Today, who have we got here? Scott Baker, finally. You need to set your watch, dude, because it's like six o'clock here now. It's been six o'clock here like this in this time slot now for about three weeks, three three or four live sessions, I think. Maybe your times have changed. I don't know. Who knows? The countdown clock hit zero. Get the show started already. It started. Chill, man. Jason Stevenson, morning after or evening. Good evening. Does that, does flooding mean that you can get some waterfall (laughs) no waterfalls off a billiard table it just sits there i should have taken some photos i went out yesterday um contacted a a friend of ours yesterday he lives about i don't know maybe half an hour or so away from me he lives on on a river though and um i was out there a few weeks ago and he built a little bit of a check bank around his farm and we contacted him said how you go and he said oh i'm stuffed so we went out there yesterday and helped him pick up all of his um his, his electrical stuff, all his pumps and generators and tool shed, basically, just like get it up a metre off the ground so when it does flood, because it will flood there in the coming days, um, hopefully he won't lose all of his gear. That's enough of that. Today, we've got Macmillan, obviously, this bloke. Morning, Greg. Morning. Afternoon for you. Man? Good. Not That's bad since uh, not that not bad for coming off a night shift. So, you, how long since you've been asleep? Uh, I got up about an hour ago. Well, maybe an hour and twenty minutes ago, mm-hmm. and okay. I had about four or five hours sleep. Okay, okay. So I should, I should when be you said you're coming, you should be what? Sorry, <clears throat> I should be just prime. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> when you said you were coming off a night shift, I thought, oh, great, this guy hasn't slept for like 20 hours. This will be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I oh. wouldn't be able to function if I did that. <laughs> this bloke, what is he in a shit stirring mood this morning? <laughs> on, on, on the group chat, here, he just carried on. <laughs> Spent June, July in Bundaberg. Yeah, the difference between Bundaberg and here is that it's got the water's got somewhere to go, whereas here, um, where I, where I go out and film Mount uh, Mount Hope, you know all the the astro stuff that I do with all the rocks and stuff, that's at Mount Hope, and it's called Mount Hope because there's a there's a um, an explorer that went through this area a long 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 time ago, um, uh, what's his bloody name Major Mitchell, and he went he he was going through this area here and it was flat as a pancake, couldn't see anywhere. So there were no landmarks to like get a good like eagle eye, I guess, of the area. So he found this rocky outcrop and he figured that that was like, that was his hope, if you like, to, to find water. And he climbed up that. That's why it's called Mount Hope. But when you get up on top of that, that rocky outcrop, you can see for such a long way. That's how flat this place hmm. is. So yeah. that little bit of rain just sits there. Whereas up in like, uh, um, all through Queensland, most of it is hilly sort of country. So the water's got somewhere to go and get back out to sea. <clears throat> and the, where, where I was living on the Gold Coast, up in the hinterland, I think they have an annual rainfall of like two metres. That's a lot of rain. But it can rain, like absolutely dump with, with rain. But because it's in the mountains, it just goes. And you don't, you're not stuck with that water. Whereas well, how here, high is that Mount Hope? <clears throat> oh, it's not high, mate. <laughs> it's, it's a, it's a um, I'm going to say... 40 meters, 50 meters. It's not high. Okay. But yeah, it's just it's... flat enough that you can actually get a, a good view from there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. When we um when we bring people up here, because we're not from here originally, we've been here maybe 10 years. And when we bring people here for the first time that haven't been here, say they're like from the Gold Coast or wherever, people who haven't been to our house now, <clears throat> we go three hours away, go to Melbourne Airport, pick them up from the airport and come up here. And like, how long until we get to your place? Well, when it starts <laughs> getting flat and you can't see any hills, it's about an hour or so. That's, that's <laughs> generally what we tell people, yeah. It's, it's just so flat for a long, long time. So when we get a lot of rain, well, it just hangs around. It doesn't take much for the rivers to, to break their banks and so forth. So that's what we're living in at the moment. That's what we're living in. Um, we should probably talk about who we're bringing on today. I didn't make it a secret. I didn't, didn't hide it. Um, this guy here, he's taking some bloody ridiculous photos. He's an iPhone guy. And, well, let's just bring him on. We'll just start talking. Because as I said to you before we went live, Greg, I've got no notes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Green. Morning, Mr. Mostyn. Morning, oh, oh, Mr. McMillan. Oh, Morning, Mr. Green. Oh, hang <clears> right on. It's, it's evening here. Ah, well, it's yes. afternoon here. <laughs> yeah. What we didn't discuss, Greg, is is what we could change our names to before he came on. But I'm really not sure. Hmm. He doesn't look like a Metallica band member. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dale, can I borrow your hair? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude, if you're on. <laughs> the the best it. tool. <laughs> yeah, we, I am a we tool. Were talking of, <laughs> we, we, we were talking about accents and stuff before. Um, and... Um, um, Greg had this idea of, of putting a poll about who has the, the weirdest accent. Is that right? Weirdest? We had, weirdest we had changes. Weird. Most it doesn't matter how you word it, I guess. And, and, and there's the link for the poll. Unfortunately, with uh, I probably should have done it on bloody Facebook, mate. They give me a lot more options. Um, but the, the poll there has only got five. So who has the most, what did we say? Strangest accent, yeah. So feel free while we're doing this to go and fill out that poll. Unless you're on a phone, because that'll just kick you out of the live stream. <laughs> and we did the viewers here. So you're at uh, Saturday, uh, Friday evening, is that right? It's Friday evening at, um, hang on, still got my iPhone 7 here. Uh, it's 8.08 .08 in the evening. 8.08. .08. So tell us where you are in the world. I'm in, uh, I'm outside a town called Redroof. In West Cornwall, UK. You say Red Roof? Red Roof. That's my nearest is coastal it town. The roof of a house? The red Roof? <laughs> uh, is that what you mean? No, as in the uh, Sheila's name. <laughs> oh, Ruth. Uh, red R Roof. R-U-T-H. Red Roof. Ah, yeah. That's an interesting term because we use Sheila here occasionally. I only did it because you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Brace yourself, <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> That's gold. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So I'm yeah, so, a couple of miles from the nearest biggish sort of. It's, no, it's not a big town. It's just a town. <laughs> Another it's, it's, old. You're a couple of miles mining. from a place that has a pub. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I am so, quite uh, rural. Oh, okay. So in in your town. So when when you look at. I'm in, um, I'm in a little village. A little village. Yep. How many people in that village are in? Oh, I haven't counted them. Um, <laughs> you got to stand at that gate, mate. Why? Is there anyone you don't know? <laughs> uh, I would say there's more I don't know than there is. I know. Um, there's yeah, probably okay. probably seven, eight thousand, maybe. Yep. Yep. I haven't got you know the census at hand, so. <laughs> okay. On on, on towns here, um, yeah. quite a few towns here. It'll say like. Uh, yeah, you know, welcome to blogs. Yeah, po you get pop population. population. Yeah, no, yeah. we don't get jacked like that. <laughs> so, so the town, the village that you're in, is not big enough to even warrant a sign to say how many not, people live there. Not really. I mean, it's got not a really. church. It has got a pub. It's got a couple of shops. <laughs> there wouldn't be it. an English village it's, without it's got, a church, would there? That's true. That actually, every village, every hamlet, yeah. and every town has got churches. Yeah, and they they do photo well in the old graveyards. And, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's something that um, when I was in the UK, it it's something that blew me away 
the amount like we we talk about oh yeah the history in australia is this it's and you're like you're a preschooler in age compared to the history that you have over there oh it's amazing yeah there are these the, things um it's phenomenal with, with, with yeah in in the army you have um every unit uh, I'm not sure if every every unit, but certainly every combat unit has what's called colours, and they're like your 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 flag for your unit. <clears throat> and here, um, it's it's like the the Grady Union or, or the Union Jack for the old 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 ones. Uh, yeah. And once those once those flags all fall apart, they convert them to the Australian flag. Um, and and your unit flags, those colours, um, when they all break apart and fall apart, they're supposed to get hung in this church, and and I haven't seen it anywhere here, but that's 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 what you're meant to do with them. And when I was in the UK, I remember going into a church and there was just rows of colours on the ceiling, just with these flags falling apart. And I thought, there's some tradition there. That's yeah. amazing. And everywhere we went, there was little small churches just everywhere in these little small towns. Everywhere, just literally churches. every like yeah. I said, every hamlet. You might have a little yeah. hamlet with about a dozen houses. Usually, there will be a church of sorts. Yeah. So, have you ever looked at the um, uh, uh, the light pollution map? Where are you at? I'm a Bortel 4. Okay. You'd That's be able to find reasonably good photos, eh? I should do. I should do, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Most of most of my county, if you if you looked in Cornwall on, on the light pollution, you would see most yeah. of Cornwall is Bortel 4, right the okay. way across it. But there is yeah, a little right. part right in the south-southwest, and that's down to Bortel 2. And that's where all the DSLR boys do go for their uh, galactic core and um, yeah, lots of light trails and yeah. I mean, I've done I've done light trails from the back garden. You know, I did post yep. them on the group, I believe, um, and yep. they weren't bad for a first attempt on an iPhone yep. seven until the neighbours outside light went on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's when you it. take your yeah your slingshot. <laughs> I haven't I haven't actually had the decent enough skies with the XS, so um, it's been yeah. put on hold. But also nocturne now. I'm gonna I'll sort of have a whiz with oh, that as well. Yeah. I know yeah, we yeah. are getting near the end of galactic core season as well, but yeah. it's always next year. Yeah. Always next year. I'd just like to like to point out that between the three of us here, when we pointed out that there was a light next door, the Canadian went to violence straight away. <laughs> Get a slingshot out. But I would apologize <laughs> yeah. later. <laughs> <laughs> not, sorry. Not, nice bottle of rosé, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> what's this for oh yeah, it's just a gift <laughs> yeah. uh, oh here there's a couple of halogen bulbs <laughs> <laughs> oh. so so in, in your day-to-day -day travels because you're posting a lot of photos and I, I look at the stuff that you post and just go that's ridiculous that's <laughs> <laughs> it's such a bloody good location where this guy's at because it's something different almost every it's, other day. We have coast both sides of us. The Cornwall ah, is just right. surrounded by the Atlantic, both sides. Ah, so you get sunrises oh, on nice. the south, you get sunsets on the north, ah. um, and the compositions are just just mad. At That's the narrowest awesome. point, I think we're about fifteen miles wide from coast to coast. So it's yeah, it's, right. it's a photographer's dream, really. It is yeah, honestly. Right. That's awesome. Mm. So location matters. It it does definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, we might go through some photos. I normally ask about. Um, like, should we do that? Do we? We haven't done that for a while, and I haven't even warned you about this, so you may not even realise this is coming. Explain who you are in a tweet. So, one hundred and forty characters. Who is I've been dreading. I've been dreading this. <laughs> oh, so right. you knew this was going. <laughs> Basically, yeah, no, I have rehearsed it, but I've had a couple oh. of bockers, so hang on. <laughs> right. Uh, basically, I'm a guy who discovered that a few years ago, the iPhone camera is a pretty bloody awesome tool for taking images. Okay? How's that? If it's un over 140, tough. <laughs> no, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty bloody good. So you're, you're using... Uh, seven. It was I a seven. seven. Yep. Yeah, it's um, it's still here look, with its reflex case. Yep. But yeah, and, I'm on the X XS now. Yep. And uh, 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 what would your top three apps be on that phone? It doesn't have to be photography; it can be whatever. Top three apps. 
your top three right. most used apps? Well, I'll give you the three that are most used, which is mm-hmm. Reflex, Reexpose, and even longer. Uh, yeah, Spot right. the long exposure addict. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Reflex, basically on the iPhone 7, the Reflex JPEG long exposure, it would work like once in about three shots. So you could miss a good shot, you know. But yep. the raw camera works fantastic, second to none. So yep. a majority of my just still images are occasionally I just open the iPhone camera just for the simplicity of going whack, open shot, you know, if it's yeah. something ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, reflex for the raw raw captures, which I can uh, access all the 10. Oh, he's off again, isn't he? Uh, it's, it's the 10S, Scott, all right, mate? <laughs> That's my fault. Yeah. No, it's, it's fine. Um, I'm a tool. <laughs> um, yeah. Reflex for the raw camera. Uh, re-expose as their long exposure and even longer. Well, speaks for itself. Some Mario, what okay. guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. In fact, he's in here. Morning, Mario. Hi, Mario. Uh, well, we might we might um, have a look at some photos now. Yeah, I no usually friend. ask people to send me two or three photos, and <laughs> I think you <he> sent me. <laughs> 33. <laughs> no, is it 33? No, no, it it's a it. lot. I couldn't send uh, them all in one go. It was too many. So I had to come back out and do it again. <laughs> it's um, photos, not your kids. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, and, and I was going to upload them all into here just to show <clears throat> them all in full screen. And I thought, that's going to take me all bloody day. Uh, yeah, just so pick, I'll just share. Oh, that's what I said. Just pick a few you liked, mate. Really, but, but I kind of can't because they're all pretty bloody good. Um, oh, gee, thanks. Oh, <laughs> I'll stop this. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll get oh, here we go. That it's oh, loaded, wow. right? Uh, which, just trying to yeah. work out which way is the best way. Well, that might even be the best way. Just... I think it was in vertical that one. It was in uh, a very yeah. unusual vertical shot. I don't tend to do them, but that needed vertical. But this here. Is the same as that one? Same lighthouse, right? No, it's no, it's not. This is where it's the not. tide. Are you no. sure? That's low tide where you can get into the caves. Oh. This is high tide where the caves are underwater. So I'm up on sort of higher rocks. But it's the, it's the same, same lighthouse, lighthouse there, right? It's the same sort of exposure, shall we say, the same composition without the cave, right? Because <laughs> I'm actually stood on top of the cave now. Does that make sense? But it's the same lighthouse in the image, though, It's right? the same lighthouse on the island, yeah. yes. Oh. oh, it must have got lost in translation, Greg. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or it's the vodka. <laughs> oh, it's the vodka. It's the vodka. <laughs> it could well be. Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> so this um, is this I don't is know who this Greg guy is this talking is, to, but very, i got a different very, name. very local to me. This is about 10 minutes' drive down the coast. Um, I tend to drive this way on the way home sometimes and this was just an evening that i a rare occasion where i thought i'm going to shoot out it looks like it's going to be a cracking sunset and i knew that obviously checking the tide maps that the tide was going to be low and i thought well yeah i might be able to access the caves brilliant Mm. um Mm. that photo had so much done to it it ended up at about three megapixels (laughs) but i still think (laughs) it'll it'll print well it really got hammered in post-processing Sure. You can see some haloing. I don't know if you can see on the there, screen. There there's, is. Some, there's some but haloing around the, the um I do the that is an image there. I do actually like. Yeah. Well, they're all pretty bloody good. What I'm curious <laughs> about though is that this is a sunset photo. So you could you could potentially this is just my astro head thinking here, with that water in the foreground, you could potentially get a galactic core shot from exactly where you are here. Or at least star trail shot. Maybe if it faces here. the right direction, it face that faces uh, due. That would be due west. Yeah. So this time, so it would be, probably be behind. Yeah, certainly. Would it? We're at the moment where it's it's southwest here, at the moment because it's moved from southeast across to southwest now. I'm, yep. According to photo pills. Sure. I do own photo sure. pills. On honestly. 
<laughs> I'm part it's of a great app. <laughs> it's a fantastic it's a, app, mate. Yeah. And for this sort of thing, it'd be perfect. So what you could do yeah, is, and this is what I do for this, when I, when I see this sort of thing, or I see uh, like a, a tractor in a paddock or a truck or a tree or whatever, um, I'll, I'll look at photo pills and go, where is it for, for this time of, like, where is it going to be tonight? Oh, it's going to be over here. Okay, so what yeah. time of the year do I need to be here for it to be in front of me? And you can just change the date. And all, all I do is change it like month by month until it's roughly there and then, then go day by day once you've narrowed it down a little bit. And then I just mark my calendar as go back to that spot on this day to take that shot. And Have you, can I just quickly, Cow yeah. Swamp, I love that composition. Yep. You, you've done a couple of videos at Cow Swamp now. Does, yep. does that face the right direction for the galactic core? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So, so I will could, probably that... go out there. It depends on what happens with the bloody weather, to be honest. Um, yeah, I know. Right you, now. We need your we... rain here because our reservoirs are at 30%. We are really desperate. We, it's been so dry yeah, right. for so, so long. Um, <laughs> we need that rain. You had 100 yeah, mils right. and we could do with that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need it trust me uh, do we have any <laughs> I <love it>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, rate me answer Fo <laughs> photo good me. iPhone photo good done <laughs> Can't make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that's that's what I would do with this. I, I would I would go back to that spot when you can. Just spend yeah half hour, twenty minutes is what it's going to take you to find that right date. Then go back and and and, and punch that. In. But cow swamp. Um, there's a photo. I reckon I've put in a couple of videos. It's a. <clears throat> it was it was before I started doing iPhone stuff. Um, it's like a twelve or twenty shot panorama of the galactic core from the other side of cow swamp, looking back to where I shoot all the videos. Yeah, from. that's what I thought. Yeah. It would have to be the opposite side. Well, that's earlier in the season, but right uh, now uh. I can go to where I shoot all those videos from where all that banks all eroded with all the trees in the background yeah. uh, out in the water and the galactic core right now uh, or tonight would be sitting horizontal above those trees. It's pretty cool. I've taken a few photos like nice. that and it, it works out quite well. Um, and if, if the weather's, stays the way I, I actually know not tonight because i'm out tonight but um if the weather looks clear out there now um i'll probably get out there in the next few nights to do that because it's a cracking shot to get um so as far as planning goes that's what i'd be looking at for that photo that that through the cave there i reckon that'd be a ripper shot even star trails mate because you've got you got that water in the foreground star trails will reflect pretty bloody well um yeah. i reckon that would be a, a cracking of a shot Let's look at some more. This looks like somewhere from here, except for this that is, hill. Um, this is a little <laughs> place up on Bodmin Moor, so it's in the middle part of Cornwall. It's a big, big, big moor, um, and there's various lakes on the moor, and you've got these little fences that just disappear into the depths, and it's, mm -hmm. as you can see, it's just a superb composition. Um, mm. That was about, probably about a two-minute exposure, but it was um, a <clears throat> really strange sky. It, it, didn't, it didn't look good edited in colour, so terrible light, go black and white. I like that. Yeah, that's a good phrase. I like, <laughs> I like that. that. Yep. And yep. Uh, that's that French, that came from that French t photographer. What's he called? Somebody will tell me in the chat. Um, I can't think of his name now. French guy. Now lives in America. He's made a fortune. He's, he's working. He's done the um, Eiffel Tower from underneath. Serge yeah, Romelli. Right. Serge. Serge. Yeah. Serge. He's a personal friend of yours, isn't he, Shane? Yeah, we go way back. <laughs> <laughs> that might be good. Thanks, yeah. Kathy. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It's probably yeah. The, probably the end of the fence is uh, viewable now. Hmm. So, a moor is what? It's just a lake. Yes, he's a lake. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's called. <laughs> I'll get it right. Dozemary Pool. Don't yeah, ask it's why there. it's called that. The Lady of but, the Lake. There's a right. legend of a, a lady in, uh, drowned in there, and yeah, and every now and then she comes back to walk the banks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you need to get out there at night time and take some photos of that. You definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, Off that's you go. go through some... <laughs> this is pretty um, typical of the sort of shots that you do. Yeah, this was um, only a one second, one second exposure, but 
it was in between, I think this was back to March, February time, February, March uh, this year. And we had yep. some really big storms, um, yep. hurricane force winds. And, and this was a lull in the weather. And I was on the way home from work and the sea was mountainous, but it was a lull. And I, I could hardly stand up, honestly. Um, yeah, right. And I just sort of lashed up some big rocks and put them on the tripod just to hold it steady enough. Um, I took about three shots before the Bluetooth remote got water in it, but that was just one of the shots. Uh, I love yeah, it. Right. Absolutely love it. That is one photo that I really do love. Do you love the photo or do you love the experience that you had taking the photo? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was um, quite an experience. It's a fair question. Mate. There's it definitely photos question. that I have that I go, it was I, I, rather hairy. It's an emotional thing. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I remember like taking the photo. That's but great. it's exhilarating. Yeah. The sea, yeah. the sea air, the wind, you can hardly catch breath because it's hitting you on the chest. But to get an image like that, it's like the movement of the water. I just love it. Mm. I think I, so. I think it was about one second and that was anything else. And it, you, you couldn't hold the phone steady on the tripod. It really was ridiculous. But uh, yeah, right. yeah, that's uh, yeah. yeah, I do like that one. And that was yeah one of my first or second attempts at light trails. Um, yep. That was even longer. Um, and have I got time to tell you a story about what happened when I took this shot? Of course you do. Um, I was up on a bridge, obviously overlooking our main road in Cornwall. It's called the A30. Um, anybody that's come that's, to Cornwall that's will know. That's some imaginative naming there, isn't it? A30. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? We have, um, we have the Pacific Highway, the come to... Highway, A30. <laughs> <laughs> A30. It's, it's a beauty. Um, it's two lanes. It, it, it's not three lanes. It's two lanes. Yep. And in the summer, it crawls at about 10 miles an hour with just gridlock with traffic. But yeah, hey. this was winter months again, popped up on that bridge. I thought this looks great. There's plenty of traffic, you know, our rush hour. Um, mm -hmm. And next thing, this guy comes in a BMW, comes screaming up, gets out and says, what are you doing? Am I going to get a ticket? <laughs> he, he, <laughs> thought I was, he thought I was the police with a speed camera taking uh. <laughs> And I was just laughing at him. And he's like, I don't find it fucking funny. Um, and I showed him the photo and he went, Oh, wow, man, that's cool. <laughs> and drove off. <laughs> apology accepted. Yeah, apology accepted. <laughs> off he goes. That's cool. Yeah, he thought I was the, the police <laughs> and he thought I was up there with a speed camera. Obviously, he had a little bit of guilt, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he must have. <laughs> he was in the outside lane, obviously, and he came off at the next exit or uh, uh, junction or whatever, came up and, um, yeah. yeah, I thought, I'm going to get thrown off the bridge here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that was um quite I, I would one. i would have started this photo just that little bit earlier would you it's, it's a good photo don't get me wrong just to get some some of that black to have some sort of image in there so it's not so heavy silhouetted it would i reckon if yeah. you started this like five to ten minutes earlier it would have been that little I, little bit yeah five, i think five, i, was, I think better. i was late late getting there shane in all fairness yeah but it's a ripper shot, mate. You can't argue with that. Yeah, I find color, I find it hard to find things. Yeah, I find no, it hard to, to find things wrong with your photos. Them. To be honest. Yeah, that those another that's slow shutter cam again. That one. Slow um, shutter cam. Yeah, I still use it. I still love it. It's um, it, it's a good one. Um, that's it's a good a one. pair of. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> again, it's. A nice solid subject that ain't moving anywhere. A pair of old Cornish engine houses from the mining era. You see a lot of them in my photos. Um, yeah. Part of our mining history. They were the big one in the foreground would have um, had a big steam cylinder engine that would have pumped water from the underground workings. The little one in the back, that was a, a winding engine that would have wound the rock and ore up the shaft. Um, so it just, the clouds were really, really moving that mm. day. And um mm. I just thought, where do I go? Where do I go? And uh, it was, I was going past this little area, and it's a it's a walk. People walk, uh, take the kids out for a walk there, and the walk their dogs and the horses and everything. Yeah. It's all public thoroughfare. And I thought that would make a great image. And the clouds were just zooming overhead. And that was again about a minute, minute and a half maybe. But it yeah. it certainly, uh, yeah, another pretty good shot, <laughs> if you say so. <coughs> yeah, that was all, all of your. Pretty much all your photos, I kind of look at them and go, Astro, Astro, light trails, 
Star, star sales. <laughs> yeah. Like that sort of thing right there. With yeah, the, you're, the, you're the, thinking, the, yeah, you're thinking outside uh, the box. There's a box? Well, that's but, just calling a phrase. You've heard of that, haven't you, Greg? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thinking outside of the box. Shane's just oh, picking Greg, a Greg, I, I, I just thought... Mark Dickinson. <laughs> I just saw you did that. It's only been there for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about his name. That, that, Mark Dickinson is the guy who won the uh, the, the Pixel, didn't he? I I'm think sure so. that's the guy. The, he won the Pixel, from the Pixel 4, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, we, we should do that, Greg. We should, we should come up with, like, next time we bring a guest on, we should come up with some random, obscure non-existent bit of slang and just run with it the whole way through and see if the guest picks it up. But like, these guys are bullshitting me. <laughs> this, <Yeah. laughs> but this sort of thing here, I go, that's just screaming for a galactic core shot or a star trail shot around that first high point of what do you call them? Chimneys? Are they chimneys? Yes. Yeah. Stacks. Yep. Chimneys. Yeah. Stacks. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like a star trail around, like that, having that as the center of the star trail, that would be so. Yeah, yeah awesome. Pace and just get, Pol- get you know. Polaris right behind one of the stacks. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Circle around in four or five yeah. hours. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 or I, through the window. Thing, mate, oh, oh, yeah. Even, Even just better, maybe great. forty minutes, mate. Forty minutes will give you a reasonably good sort of, lot of star trails, and, yeah. and the colors that you that you pull out of. Like even longer with the star trails is just ridiculously good. Yeah, I mean, see what oh, Dale, yeah. see what Dale Lotherington does. I mean, they are. Yeah, he's, inc- he's incredible what he does, honestly. Yeah, yeah. and all for his bedroom window. <laughs> all for his bedroom yeah. window when he when he had his broken foot. I mean, yeah. unreal. Yeah, absolutely. But if you yeah. did that sort of thing with this, and whilst that shot is being taken, grab a torch and just um, like pa- like that just the, gently uh, light it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, engine, go a bit from the left, houses. a bit from the right. You've got to get the Cornish yeah. slang right. They're engine houses. <laughs> engine house. Engine house, right. yeah. Uh, no, oh, look. Then... look who's in the house. Who's in the house? Dale! <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. yeah, but this sort of thing. 12-hour just... window to... shot in edit now. <laughs> 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 Oh, this and it will be with the moment fifty-eight mil lens on the telephoto of the fourteen Pro Max, so that will be almost five times telephoto. I'm not, I'm not sure if he's if he's shooting with the fourteen, is he? I yeah, Go, keep up. I, 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 I can't keep up with everybody. <laughs> no, that's true. Give me a break. And well, um, what was that? I missed his comment. What did Jason say? Um, you're spoiled, well, you're spoiled for, choice. for your choice of compositions. Yeah. Yeah, when Andy uses iPhone Seven Reflex even longer, goes to show a good abs- absolutely. Yeah, here, here, Carl. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's mm-hmm. it's one of these things that um, which, which is pretty much the whole tool thing that I was talking about. Your phone is irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> I just read the comment. Oh. Right, me answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not only drinking Carl, coffee. My I'm job sure, to stay sure, sorry. I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> pretty sure Greg <laughs> drinking coffee. The pommy guy nope. is downing vodka like nothing. Else. <laughs> this is just plain old water. Water. Oh, you hit you hit the hard in, stuff tonight, mate. I don't drink coffee. It in. He's rubbing it in. I had, a, I had a tea before we came on. <laughs> I had a tea before we came on. <laughs> living is, dangerously Greg <laughs> living the dream yeah. mate. <laughs> well I haven't had alcohol in like 20 years so oh well fair, yeah. fair play this he's high as a kite right now but he doesn't drink alcohol <laughs> 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 yeah. moving on I'm getting, the, I'm getting high as a kite off, off these freaking nice photos is what I'm doing yeah it's pretty good again cool. that's another very local composition that that completely empties at uh, low water, high water. It comes rushing through the gully on the right hand side. Um, yep. Yeah, and you can just blur it out like that with the re-expose or even longer or even slow. Sh- this was slow shutter cam again. Sorry, it's just some of the ah. older ones are favourites. You know, it's uh, nothing wrong with that. Nothing sunsets in the west, so you can tell what direction you're facing. Um, yep. 
Yeah. It again, you're it's screaming galactic core, isn't it? No, no. I'll, no, I can't no, really no. tell on the on the screen. I was going to ask what you edited it in, but it doesn't matter because it's a slow shutter cam. <laughs> I'll but, tell you, it's, it's it, Snapseed. It was a TIFF file. I shoot everything in slow shutter cam in uh, TIFF, massive yep. files, so I can beat the hell out of them in editing. <laughs> I'm surprised I can, your I can, iPhone is still is still working. Like an iPhone seven trying to process TIFF files, it probably melted. So, and it was only thirty two gig, mate. And it's I think at the moment we got uh, uh, thirty six apps waiting to update, and I've got no room for them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's done me proud, you know. It's it's you know it's taken some amazing images. It really has. This is probably one of my favourite photos that you've taken. Yeah, yeah Cornish engine absolutely. houses again. Um, this was, like I say, this was the reflex winner, I think, or it, it's uh, another it? one. I don't know if it, it was actually. I think this one appeared on um, a calendar here in Cornwall. Um, <clears throat> It's it's the same composition, put it that way. It's uh, but it might not be the reflex winning shot, it, but it's still the same. Yeah, day from my aperture, Apple is going to go after Andy if he continues this to work on this latest phones at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody will be buying up all the old shit on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, all of this that I'm seeing from you, I. Get out there at night time, man. This, this would be amazing. <laughs> I, I've You're... seen amazing star trails done on this location. Yeah, right. Do it. it, it it's uh, <laughs> a full... That faces northwest. So with a little bit of adjustment on tripod, you can hit Polaris. You can get due north. I've seen the full... full. Oh, Dale would love it. He'd be out mm. there. He'd be out there 14 hours of darkness. <laughs> You know, right now, he, he's looking on Qantas.com for tickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. He has to no, buy two seats for his broken again, leg. There's a lot about this location that I absolutely love. It, it's so historic. I mean, those were actually working engine houses. The, I've got a map of the plans that – can you see up by the top engine house, there's like almost a big hole in the side of the cliff? That is Over an incline. Here? Um, can you see, like, if you look at the bottom one, then look at the second engine house up, then come back towards inland, you'll see like an almost a, a hole there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's been sort of partially blocked off. That is the incline shaft, and that goes down at an angle to 2,000 feet a mile out under the seabed. And that's where the oh, boys wow. were working back in, um, these were working until 1896. Um, but they would access from that shaft on a skip that used to run down a, a terrifying, must have been like um, Raiders of the Lost Ark, if anybody's ever seen that film. Oh, down on yeah. that, those mine, it would have gone down like that to 2,000 feet and a mile over a mile out under the seabed. Crazy, crazy what they did for money in those days. <laughs> but so what, tin, I'm, I'm confused. What is it that they're actually mining? Tin and copper. Mm. Oh. Back in the early sort of eight. Well, the early 19th century, the 1840s, 1850s, Cornwall yep. was mining literally all the world's tin and copper. And um, it yeah, was right. exported, exported big. And that's where all these engine houses we've got. We've got so many now, but there are a lot that have been looked after by various trusts, etc., all around the Cornish coast. And they they make for a fantastic subject. Yeah, no two absolutely. Ways about it. I yeah, mean, definitely. people say, well, why were they positioned there? Um, the, the sole purpose was that they didn't need the water table underground is less right up next to the coast. So they didn't need to purchase such uh -huh. big engines and it wouldn't cost them so much in fuel, which was coal for the steam. So yeah, it was cheaper right. to, to mine from there than it was a mile inland. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't this kind guy just know everything, Greg? He knows everything about this. No, he doesn't. I love it. <laughs> I'm Cornish born and bred. And my my grandfather was uh, a Cornish miner, so hey ho. Ah, it, right. It's sort of like in your blood a little bit. Yeah, I better look at some of these comments. Slow shutter cam. What's this? Screaming for a dragon or a, or a big moon? 
Uh, he, he, <laughs> I think he's after that other photo. <laughs> yeah, he's, so, he's poking it. He's poking. Yeah. I came across a photo on another Facebook group this morning, <clears throat> and I'll show you it in just a second. And I'll just show you how ludicrous some of these iPhone photography groups are on social media. You, you'll love it. It's it's a pisser. Um, knowing the Apple... <laughs> <laughs> love it carl love it uh, is that the random yes turns yes. out it is yes there's several like that though kathy to be fair there are several that worked out under the sea your video helps me so much ah. on taking a pic you're uh, welcome you you want to try some of these, mate? They're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and arsenic, yeah, true. Arsenic was a byproduct yeah, right. of, of tin. So, um, ah, okay. Here we go. Here we go. <coughs> there you go. That's a very good question. Seascapes that may mm -hmm. help people snap better shots. Um, good subject. Nice movement in the water. I usually tend to go for some foreground interest, which you'll see from a lot of my photos. I do like an a good bit of something, either a leading line going out to one side or the other or something in the foreground. Definitely foreground interest. Um, but in this case, you've not, you've picked your places because you, there's lots of areas around where you can shoot these, these engine houses. So they are the main subject in this, but everybody goes for the long exposure shot here, even the DSLR. Oh, it's that one. Go! <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody goes for the, D <laughs> even the DSLR lads, they all mirrorless boys. They all go for the long exposure on this one because it is yep. just that. Um, well, it makes sense. It is it that is the sense, subject. Yeah. You know, there's, yeah. there's, there's, sure, there's sure. no other subject there really. But then you blur yeah. out the water. Uh, I think again, I used about thirty seconds on that shot. So all so, your uh, editing yeah. is done with Snapseed. Is that the case? Used to be. I'm now Lightroom, and then I throw it into Snapseed, and then. Sometimes I might throw it back into Lightroom if I'm feeling really uh, excited. <laughs> what would what would cause you to go between the two? Greg's shaking his head. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think because, <clears throat> I mean, a long, long time ago, I started my iPhone journey with, I watched a couple of, uh, dare I say it, iPhone photography school um, videos. And um, it's all, if anybody's like watched, whatever his name is, Emil, Pukakalis or whatever, yeah. the Latvian guy. I mean, he's very, very good at what he does. Um, yeah. He's making a killing out of it. But it, it, everything is Snapseed, Snapseed. And you basically, I learned, mastered Snapseed. Um, yep. And then, obviously, along come Lightroom. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, now the first port of call is Lightroom. Sometimes it stops mm -hmm. there, but sometimes I just like... I just don't know. It's just like ambience tool on Snapseed. I sometimes like yep. it drags shadows up and I like yep. the structure. The yep. structure tool, I tend to add a lot of structure and then brush in the parts like the subject or a rock in the foreground that I want to really pop. Yep. And then that's it. So it's only a couple of little things that I do in Snapseed now. It's all done in Lightroom, basically. One of my the favorite tools tool in Snapseed is Glamour Glow. Glamour glow, yeah. Yeah, for, yeah. for certain shots, right? Like, uh, you yep. know, like a macro of a flower or something like that. It's the it's really the cool. one of the lighthouse <laughs> through the cave, Greg, with the yep. orange sky that yep. Shane said that's cr crying out for. Yeah, that one has got glamour glow number two on it. That was the okay. final final touch on that one. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. You added to it. You just added to it. Yeah. Yeah. That was number two. The, the second one. Number three. It looked a bit unreal. Um, there we are. I've got to tell you, this isn't working out too well for me. You're running out of photos? Can't be. No, this is the poll. Oh, I can't fucking see that. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm only on a little screen, guys. Come on. No, you'll have to read it to me. So, apparently, I'm the one with the stranger's accent. Just putting it out. <laughs> I could win this tonight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll go and find one more because I don't think it's a, a longy. Wow, well, yeah, that was like the that. other night. That was the yeah. other night, and that was just um, – I think that was just shot on – I didn't even have time to put a reflex lens on. I just loved the mist. Um, yeah. I was looking – believe it or not, you're going to laugh at this. I was looking for mushrooms and fungi, and I was 
walking through the woods and this is a sort of golf course i think if you look at it you can see a little flag there on one of the greens the and i just saw that tree with the mist and i thought i love that shot um yeah so I just took it on this on the standard camera um standard iphone camera just opened it took the shot carried on mooching with me head to the ground <laughs> looking for mushrooms um <laughs> And yeah, and then edited it. And then I went into an app called Lens Distortions. Um, oh, yeah. yep. And I used a little bit of the fog just to enhance it a little bit. Uh, See, yep. Secrets all coming out now, look. But yeah, <laughs> it, it was just something out of nothing. It was just a shot hmm. that I thought, that looks all right. Might be able to do something with yep. that. I would like hmm. the tree a little bit further over to the right, but there we go. Never mind. It's um, it's, it's, it's a good image. Yeah. It, it, this this here, you you would have got rid of that if if you were over to the right more. But if you're over to the right more, it, it I think it's composed properly. I think use the healing tool to get rid of that thing, that that branch off the side there. You're on the I, didn't, I didn't even see that. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll be honest, when, I did get rid of something higher said, up. When you first <laughs> sent that to me, I was like, damn it, I would have got rid of that. No, I it, quite it, agree with that. I quite agree with that. That's. Uh... Yeah, touch retouch to the rescue. <laughs> yeah, oh, and, and it, <laughs> that's exactly right. And it wouldn't yeah. be an iPhone photo without that cat. Yeah, that was just the first uh, portrait. Cause I've never had portrait mode. Um, of course, yeah. And that was right. the that was our it, yeah. that's our little idiot. And um, I just thought I'd take her on the <laughs> portrait. And I mean, what you know? How clear is that? It's, that's phenomenal. Yeah, it is. Yeah, bless her. Very cool. <laughs> I just thought I'd it's send true. you that to, just to say, look, this is the first photo I've taken on the XS. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, awesome, 10, 10S, Scott. 10S. <laughs> it's, 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 it's the X. It's the X. It's so the X, yeah. You're using, you, you kind of open up a few things here. You're using Snapseed, Lightroom, Lens Distortions, <clears throat> yeah, and Touch Retouch. Yeah. What else? Uh, what else? Um... Hang on. <laughs> I'll tell you about it. They're all on here because this is a duplicate. Um, what have I got? Carbon. Mm -hmm. That's carbon. A good one. I use that for black ah. and white. Greg, Greg yep. knows carbon. Um, lens light. Wait, are you? Yep. Yeah, lens light. Reflect. Yep. You can, you can yeah. And that's the mm -hmm. one where you put that reflection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, that can be. A, and superimpose X. I do sometimes play around with that if yeah, I want no. a really good black black background, but it's it's painstaking trying mm. to cut it all in, especially if it's a Friday night and I've had a couple of drinks. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, look, Mike James Mike is in James. the house. What's the weather like down there, Mike? I'm going to the ride best... down to Geelong next week. And the, the best tool, sharing all of his best tools. Thanks, Mike. I thought you, li <laughs> I thought you liked me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Legend. Uh, yeah. Well, that's, that's really imagine. interesting that you so you're not using them all the time, but you you'll take a photo and you go, hey, I could do this with that photo and then go yeah, ahead with yeah. one of those. Yeah? I yeah. I just play. I just play. I, I get a few images and I think, right, what's gonna look best with this? Um yeah. that tree uh around the golf course that you saw there just now. Yep. I started off with that early evening, then I picked it up again in the middle of the evening. And then I came to bed and the wife's in bed beside me and I, I, I finished it with the lens distortions and I went, I passed it over to her. I went, what do you think of that? Yeah, it's good. That was finished in bed. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, from the studio that you, you're in right now. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm chilled out. I'm, <laughs> I'm on the bed, mate. I'm fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, I told you what happens in the bedroom stays in the bedroom. <laughs> well, it's, not, it's on the screen right now. Go it's on live. the screen. There you go. All around the world. It's, yeah, it, it was it, it literally a shot out of nothing, really. Um, it was just a sudden, like, I thought, that oh, doesn't look bad. And uh, there we go. I think it's a good photo, mate. I think it's a good photo. Street. Oh, Diva's in the house. I don't drink. No? That's, that's what, a, what do you do, Devo? <laughs> tequila. Yeah, I, I missed <laughs> tequila or gin. <laughs> Can I say, Devo is one of the, the admins on the Facebook group. And I'm almost yeah. certain he has sent photos of what he's drinking that particular day. Yeah. <laughs> I still can't get over how chirpy you are at whatever it is, uh, 6.50 oh, in the morning. Yeah, but I've been really... for like three hours. What? Yeah. 
Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he's an early riser. Early. <laughs> ah, no, no. And, and then when we, when, we, when we have like people around, when, when our best friends come here for, for dinner at night, they're like, oh, it's nine o'clock. We better go. Shane's going to bed soon because Shane's going to bed soon because Shane's up at oh stupid hours in the morning. No way. No wonder you True. couldn't stay in the skill of a photographer and make something magic out of yeah. nothing. Yeah. Like you, Dale. Definitely like you, mate. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah. what I was going to show was, um, so there are a number of Facebook groups around. And, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, like slating mobile photographers. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I'm, well, a, I'm a member of many of them. <laughs> uh, like, I've, I've never made it a secret how much I enjoy our Facebook group, the, the Blade Legends group. <clears throat> oh, it's, it's bloody brilliant, mate. It's fantastic. It's all just nice. Like, no, no one sits there bitching and moaning about this or that. No, no one... If someone does something a bit dodgy, they, they they say that they've done something a bit dodgy in their like, composite images and stuff. Um, we've got rules, and some of them are automatic rules. Where, rules. Um, yeah. Did you know that, Greg? Through... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> finding it. <clears throat> well, well, one of the reasons we can't post DSLR images, for example. But if you oh, if that, you post a yeah. series of photos and they're all iPhone photos or or, or, or phone photos. And one of them is like here's here's also one from this just to compare. That's that's fine. But oh as yeah, long as, like, as long as you the, mention it. <laughs> yeah, uh, but the automatic rules like there's we've set up rules in in the Facebook group. If if the if DSLR is mentioned, it just holds that post until we one of the admins look at it and go yeah it's okay or no it's not okay. <clears throat> um, <laughs> <laughs> that's my son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gets up around that, seven. Well, it's around seven. Coffee. Yeah. <laughs> and he's not lying. This is number four. Wow. And um, <laughs> <laughs> so there's this other Facebook group, and it's a massive Facebook group. It's like 140,000 users, like members in this group. And some of the photos are just like regular sort of iPhone photos, but some of them. They put a photo there, and it's clearly a composite, and they just won't admit, admit to, to it. it. And they double down on it, and then they triple down on it, and it's freaking hilarious. So I found one this morning. I didn't actually go looking for it. It just appeared in my newsfeed, and I went, oh. And then I looked closer at the image and went, no, that's added. That's been added. Oh, I'll show you. What do you reckon about that? <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah. Now, yeah. Podcast. I mean, it's a great image. I'd like to see the water flattened out, personally, but for a log exposure. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be able to do a log exposure with this, mate, because the moon would have moved. Of course, it would. <laughs> and the water would have not froze the way it did. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 what do you think about this photo? Oh, it appeals to the eye. Yeah, well, I think um, um, I just the, think it's sort of. I just a bit love of Photoshop I, additives. <laughs> I just love the way the moon has come in below the clouds. That is just amazing. Oh, sensational. <laughs> uh, I like how that... only the blue street lights have got that um, star element, but all the orange ones don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yes. but what I like is this comment here. That that's that's a fair comment. We did a group for iPhone digital art, yeah, because it's there's a lot of manipulation in that photo, and this oh, guy yeah. just doubled down on it. He just went to M town more than I used to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> but he doubled down, then he tripled down, and then I was like, "Oh, look out here! He's actually turned commenting off for this post. Didn't remove the post." He just, uh, just just turned off the comments so no one could sit there saying call him out anymore. It just it blows me away. This is this is my favorite group. Hey, get out of there, podcast. Oh, it's Devo. Tell Devo, this is my live screen. What are you doing, mate? He's just saying that he doesn't he doesn't drink gin or <laughs> I better stop sharing my screen. Who knows what he's gonna send me now? But it's 
It's like you, you've been called out here. This group does it all the time. They've got regular photos and stuff in there. And sometimes there's even members of the, the Bloody Legends group that have come over to the Bloody Legends group because I've seen people just going to town on them here. And I've just sent them messages saying, just search for this. Come in, answer the questions. It's a much better group. And there was, there was uh, one woman there who was just being absolutely poleaxed by comments. And it was, she was trying, oh, God. <laughs> Greg's just trying to see his comments life now. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I was looking down at what I was doing. I forgot. It was I forgot to say. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll stop it now. <laughs> okay. Because like, knowing, knowing Devo, he's going to put something up there that shouldn't be there. You just know it. <laughs> Orange and teal for the win. That's exactly right. Because they're those complementary <clears throat> colours. And you go, uh, how much of that... Uh, well, it is that they're that's like you look at David Addison's lighting in most of his stuff, it's orange and this teal color. Yeah, um, yeah but you look no, at this and you go, that's a reflection that's of his hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. McMill McMillan's over here going, oh, I don't know if I should engage in that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> You are just so laid back, Greg. It's brilliant. It's, it's, you are. You're just so chilled. Well, I did just come off night shift, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, free super chat message changer in live stream. <laughs> um, have you guys seen much about this? This uh, oh, we, we won't talk about that 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 photo anymore and that group anymore. I've had enough of that. It's just I saw it this morning. I thought I've got to talk about this on the live stream. Um. Have you guys seen much about this this Pixel Seven? No, nothing. Nothing. Great. Not much. Um, no. I I saw a review where they showed some stills. Uh, nothing compelling, really. Video still not as good as iPhone. So what me. I thought was interesting is there's there's a there's one YouTuber that I follow and I watch pretty much everything that he pushes out. And when he reviewed the I when he reviewed the the Pixel 7, it was weird in that I'm not sure if I'm the only one who thinks this, but it, I, I watch his stuff normally and I go, yep, he's on the money. He's not bullshitting anything there. He's he's telling it like he is. Like 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 it, it like it is, I should say. And with the Pixel 7, he went on to say it was basically the best phone around at the moment but all through his video he was pointing out flaws in the phone it was just weird it was almost like he was being i'm not saying he was but it was almost like he was being paid to say all this stuff but then pointing out the issues but still saying it's the best phone on the market it's it's yeah. a bit weird like it's a bit weird. one thing i noticed in one of the it might have been that review i'm not sure but um it takes a little like it does a lot of stuff after the fact, like after you hit the yeah. hit the button to take the picture, <clears throat> and you'd think they would have with that new chipset they've got. You'd think they'd be able to do that in real time, like the iPhone does. But no, like yeah. when, when it comes to like a live photo, it's got to res in for Pete's sake. Yeah, yeah. The, I think all phones do that to an extent. There's all that computational stuff that's going on. But I am not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> that's why I said that I think that's does, the one, but <laughs> could be. But it's all all of his videos usually are like I look at them and go, Yep, I, I totally get that. I, I believe what you're saying. And that was the only video I've ever seen of his where I go, I don't believe what you just said. Um yeah. for, for like saying it's the best thing, and that lag between the photo being taken and then resolving that photo and then giving you the image, it seems to take a long time. And the, um, I mean, when uh, when the when the first Pixel came out, they used to, um, I think it was their portrait mode pictures. They would take the shot, it would go to the servers, it would have to upload to the servers, pro get processed, and then come back yeah. to the phone before you could actually see it or use yep. it. Yep. Yep. Um, <clears throat> unacceptable. Somebody asked. He. Sorry, mate. Go. On. I was just gonna say that's unacceptable as far as I'm concerned. In, in this day and <clears throat> age, with the phones we have. That should never have happened. Yeah, that's right. Um, somebody asked here if I was going to get one, and, and um, I'll, I would say no, um, mainly because of what I do here. Uh, all, all this, 
the reviews that I've seen, and this is all the reviews, not just that review, there's nothing about that phone that goes, go and buy this over something else besides the price, really. Um, everything yeah. else that I've, that certainly everything else that I've got <clears throat> is better than that, in my opinion, from what I've seen. And when it comes to low light photography, we're looking at, we, we should be looking at the specs of the phone as far as mainly around pixel size to capture that light. And this phone is no, the camera on this phone is no different to the six um, with the specs. And I go, well, Google is all about the software for those Astro photos. But I, I could tell absolutely no difference. It's, it's exactly the same in my eye from the 4A to the 6. It's exactly the same. I take an Astro photo, it's exactly the same. And it's software driven. And that's that was the, the biggest camera jump, if you like, that Pixel had for a long time. And this one here is no different, the 7 to the 6 for the Astro stuff at least. It's no different. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And I look at it and go, it would be a waste of money for me to go and buy that just to take photos of the Astro or with the Astro capabilities on that phone. This doesn't make sense to me. Um, see what see what you can do with the 6. I mean, look at what you've done with the um, your truck and the awning and the campfire. and Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, but, inc incredible, Shane. Incredible. But that, that's just that, that's just the software on that and where I live. That's that's nothing special that I do. It's just um, um, you're it, just blessed it's, it's just with these dark skies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just I, I look at it and go, you, you've come a little bit further for for the video. I think it's definitely better than what it used to be. Um, but I still don't think it's it's nowhere near what that 14 Pro is. I don't know if you've have you done that yet, Greg? Like running around with that. That that steady care or the action mode or whatever it's called. Action mode. I've tried yeah. it once, um, mm -hmm. not running, but walking kind of briskly, and it did pretty yeah. good. It's bloody impressive. I, I hooked up yeah. both of these on a on a setup, like the thirteen and the fourteen, and on a, on a on a bar, and <clears throat> it was the video. I'm not sure if you saw it on the group chat that I went and recorded all this video and didn't realize I had bloody mozzies stuff smashed all over my face. I've been slapping and didn't realize I had it. So I just, just, just ditched the whole video. So I, can't, I, can't, I can't. If it was just one one little bit in there, I wouldn't have cared, but I didn't see it the whole way through. <laughs> I just had these black dots on my face. Um, but in that video, which nobody saw, I had these two phones sitting on this rig that I made up and, and running around. And the 13 was jittering and, and the 14 was just like this. It was like Yeah, a, the, the uh, yeah. guys from Moment did that the other day. Oh, did they? They, uh, they had the yeah. same thing to yeah, show the right. stability of the uh, 14. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's incredible. It really is. But uh, as far as the 7 goes, I, I don't think I will buy it. Um, I saw on... There's another uh, Facebook group that I'm on with. Uh, uh, it could be just called Google Pixel Group. It could be just called that. Um, I don't think it's a specific photography group, but there was a guy in there. If you're looking to buy a Pixel 7 and you have a 6, go and just search that group because someone in there worked out how to get the phone for free by trading in your old phone. It was very clever because uh, oh, really? they have a trade-in scheme. And the way that they – it was a step-by-step -step process and – you buy this phone, you trade this one in, you get a rebate or something as well, and you end up paying nothing for the phone. I thought, that guy's a cunning fella. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> he's going to go get himself a free phone. Like up upgrading your phone every year for free, that's, that's kind of clever. Um, <laughs> a cunning linguist. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that, but I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> oh, sorry, somebody had to. <laughs> I haven't actually read this. I can't believe after all the hate, the Apple eye-shaped notch, eye-shaped notch, got before the dynamic on. The other Google actually went out and put one on the back of their phone. Oh, that, I'm with you now. <laughs> right on eye. Yeah, I'm with you. Ah, oh, Mike Goyne. Hello, Mike Goyne. How's things? Um, I don't think I've got anything else to discuss. Do you have anything else you want to discuss, Greg? Um, well... To Dave's comment there about, uh, I can't believe that after all the hate, the Apple eye shape notch got. When he's when when he's saying eye shape notch, he's not talking about the notch on the phones before the fourteen, is he? Yeah. Okay. 
uh, got before the dynamic island became a reality that Google actually went and put one on the back of their phone in the pro version. Yeah, it's just he's talking about the way the cameras are laid out. Um, oh, okay. Well, okay. So the thing is, is these things are in development for months and months and months and months and months before they're released. You yep. know, whether it's Google or Samsung or, or iPhone or what well, doesn't matter, they're all in development for quite some time before they get released. So I don't know if it's, uh, uh, you know, I don't know if it's fair to say that there's a lot of, uh, you know, people are, I don't know, I don't, maybe I'm just pissing in the wind here <laughs> with, with, with my thinking, but, uh, you know, before people can say, Things about you know Google's complainers, people Google fans are saying things about the iPhone. Well, they got to remember their phones were in development for quite some time before they're released. So yep. it's not like um, you know this this company's copying that company or or whatever. Like it's it's. Uh, I hope I'm clear with what my thought is there. Because um, I mean, right now, here we are, October, middle of October in 2022. The iPhone 15 is well into development. The, the iPhone 16 will be into development. You know, these things don't happen, you know, overnight. So um, yeah. when somebody comes out with something that may be similar to another brand, it could be by mistake, could be by, uh, you know, by chance. I certainly don't think it's because they're intentionally trying to copy unless there's insiders that are leaking things out in the development I stage. I don't think it's that. I think what he's talking about here is the notch that was on the phones prior to the 14 Pro right. was that if you looked in that notch, you could see that there was a clear eye, as in a line, then an eye, then a dot. Oh, okay. The cameras. That's what he's talking about there, I'm quite sure. Oh, and what okay. he's saying there is all the bitching and moaning that, um, that, that, that Google folks would have on all the hate uh, about that notch. And then it's oh, gone and done okay. that. With the with the eye, that's what he's talking about. Oh, I that's, see. I'm pretty okay. sure that's what he's talking about. Yeah. Because I know it was rumored that the 14 would have that kind of pill pill and dot design on the okay. front facing camera. Yep. Yep. Instead of the yeah. dynamic island that they ended up with. Yep. But uh, so in your experience know. now, Greg, with that dynamic island, <clears throat> how are you finding it? You've been using it for probably a month or so now. Yeah, it's okay. I, I use it. You know, if I'm playing a yep. podcast or something like that, I could yep. long press on it. It could bring down the, the player controls or or yep. even if I'm watching Apple TV, I can do the same thing. Um, it, it's useful, you know, and it's it's going to get better as it gets opened up to third-party developers. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what's yeah. coming. That's what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah, you know okay. Well, I, 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 if I misunderstood, I do apologize as a Canadian would. <laughs> well, we, we should we should have brought Dave on as well, because you've got an Aussie, a Canadian, an Englishman, and Dave's an Indian living in New Zealand. No one would understand what we're saying. What a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and next time but we I'm... next time the three of us appear on the live stream, we're going to have a couple of translators. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at this bloke. He's only been here since breakfast. You think he's coming on again? <laughs> <Well enough. laughs> um, is there any way you can go back through the comments and find what Jason Stevenson said? Because I don't know how to do that on this. Jason okay. Stevenson asked something and I missed it because Dale jumped in. Oh, so it's way back then. It's quite a way back. Sorry. I didn't want to interrupt, interrupt the flow. Uh, that, uh, that, that. Yeah, uh, it, was probably, it was probably the cracker. Yeah, it was the one I'm spoiled for choice on compositions. And I've got to oh. be honest, I am. Yeah. Yeah. You are, mate. Yeah. yeah. I, am. So I, I admit you, that. Sure. It, yeah. It you know, <clears throat> doesn't matter what what tool. We'll get back to tool again. doesn't matter what tool <laughs> you are. You break Google Translate and then I'll be better. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it doesn't matter where you go. You've just got beaches, cliffs, yeah. rocky outcrops, piers. Yep. You know, it's, yep. it's all there. And then you've got the moorland to go and wander around on as well. So mm. Mm. it's all it's there. Spoiled, I, am, 
Very, very I'm lucky, for obviously. Guys and, well, that's it, as far as photography goes. But you've there's, got Cow Swamp. I love Cow Swamp. There's two places yeah. yep. in this world that I would love to go and shoot. One of them is the Pacific Northwest here in North America with those great big giant redwood trees and the mountains and all yeah. that stuff. The, you know, the forest and all that. And the other is over in the UK where there is so much history in the yeah. architecture, the land masses, all that stuff. Yeah. Like like where you are in Cornwall, it all that stuff just appeals to me so much. It would just be amazing to shoot that stuff. Mm. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Couldn't agree more. What, when do you want to come my, down here, mate, sorry. and see all the spiders, the snakes, the drop bears, and <laughs> the mozzies. Those things kill you. <laughs> the mozzies. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you, you remember me referring to um, after I finished the iPhone photography school um, I was very influenced by a fe fellow countryman of yours Shane uh, Andrew Marr a very good photographer have you heard of him nope Aussie guy he did he put together some videos of um, how to shoot long exposures on the iPhone I think um, I've seen I think I've I think I subscribed to him he was the one that obviously got me into getting the moment lenses and um he was using the specter app um i know you use specter app greg i still got it there somewhere is he a youtuber um, yeah yep uh, yes he has got his youtube channel as well andrew marr is it yeah mm -hmm. yeah you want to see, he did three iphone um long exposure sea, sunset seascapes and that yeah. was what really really set the ball rolling for me because i said right I need to get a moment 80 mil wide lens, which I did. I need to get an uh, an, a moment 58 mil. I mean, obviously, I'm using reflex now, but I've still got the moment lenses, which can go on the seven. So, um, yeah, uh, it was him that really got it going for me. Um, but he he, he does he obviously does a lot of DSLR work, but he drives around like yeah. yeah, he drives around mm -hmm. like Shane and parks up somewhere and goes looking for compositions. But yeah, damn right, he's a YouTuber. Um, yeah. He was him that really, really kicked off long exposure iPhone photography for me. Well, there you go. And yeah, being good. in millions of uh, millions of Facebook groups yeah, right. <laughs> and, and getting yeah. slate, slated on a weekly basis. <laughs> 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 but hey, uh, I'm still was, I'm still here. The, the, oh, is Cortex camera any good? Have you used that? I've I've tried Cortex. to, and no, I haven't tried had any. Luck with it at all. There is someone in the Facebook group uh, who does use it, and he he uses it quite well. Um, I've tried to use it, and I haven't had any success with it. I'm probably just using it wrong. Um, I look at it; it's it it's a low light um, app, and the photos I've seen they're getting galactic core and stuff through it. But I kind of go it, it to me. It seems a bit more complex than what it should be, unless I'm thinking about a different app. But there's other apps that, and I've said this so many times, phone photography should just be, should just be easy. Um, so as in, put on a tripod, set it up, push a button, walk away. Um, Make sure you're right, so it's as low as possible and boom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. This one wasn't quite like that. Um, but I, in my head, I kind of go, there's better apps to do what Cortex can do. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, there's a good question here from Carl. Um, have you done a comparison between moment and reflex lenses on your iPhone? Not, not yet, Carol. Uh, it is, it is coming to uh, plan at some point when the weather changes. Not had great weather yeah. lately, but yeah, I was going to set up with the reflex lenses on the uh, 10s or XS to us three. Okay. <laughs> 10s if, it, <laughs> if it's gone. Yeah. Um, See, I got yeah, you saying I it. Was gonna, I've got, I've got the, uh, I've got this 60 equivalent in the reflex to the 58 on the moment and the wide yeah. angles are both 18s. Um, so yeah, there will be a, a comparison coming out. Yep. We'll see what, yeah, cool, see what cool. we can, uh, see what we can shoot. Yep. Do, do you like the mounting of the reflex over the moment? <sighs> I find or moment is easier, but I find their cases break easier. I do like the metal. Oh, the cases break. I do like the metal thread on the, the reflex case, but I do find yep. them, fiddly and like oh cross-threaded oh. <laughs> i do fiddle around a lot to get them on especially if i'm changing uh, on the uh, 10s if i'm changing from one <laughs> aperture to the other and the, you know yeah. it's um it's fiddly especially when you're out on the rocks yeah. with the the wind blowing a hoolie in your face and yeah i'm, I'm 
you know, hoping I don't drop one drop one down the uh, rock face. But hey, <laughs> what what did the wind blow in your face? A huli. <laughs> it's a huli. <laughs> it means a gale. It's blowing a huli. Right. <laughs> you, you, you're going to use that now. Next time he goes into I'm town, try. It's Kahuna, he's going to go huli. Geez, it's blowing a bloody huli today, mate. <laughs> oh, the bloody huli. <laughs> <laughs> blowing, not blowing, 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 blowing a, a bloody hooli. Hooli. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you've no. gone through all, was, sorry, gone through uh, all uh, my photos. Well, that was quick. Uh, no, no, I wasn't going to go through all of them. We sit here all day. Oh, going your bloody photos. No, um, that's fine. Uh, n- now and then, when I'm doing a live stream. Uh, one of the, the guys in the Facebook group chat will message me and so, tell me something that I've missed or tell me something that I've overlooked or whatever. <laughs> and 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 it, that wasn't that. So every time that a message comes up, I kind of go quiet and look at what they have to say, but it's it's just Devo being, well, an Englishman. <laughs> talk and look talk who about just people who speak weird. Ah, oh, Patrika. You've begun with well, that. I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just... Let's see how this is going while Patrick is here. Uh, hey. let's let me refresh this because he. Oh man, David Addison is catching up. Oh really? Ooh. Yeah, Patrick oh. doesn't even get a mention. I need to bring him back on again so that people can see how weird he speaks. Patricia, Who's it? is it basically us three that are top? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Greg McMillan's like seven percent. It's, I can't it's, it's read hardly that. even like you speak weird, mate. It's because most <laughs> of the audience that watches this are over in Canada. In North America. Yeah. North America, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you just sound normal to them, whereas myself and Mr. Addison, I, I'm not sure how, how I'll feel about being compared, like ranked so highly like David Addison. I'm just not sure. Is he Nice to see from... Andy on here. It is nice to see Andy on here. Yeah. So we might even bring him on again. At some point, <clears throat> um, you never know. So, um, an- anything that we want to finish with here, guys? Uh, I could say what I'll be, what I've got coming up. Um, Do that. I-, I was co-hosting on the iPhone Photo Show with uh, Jefferson Graham because okay. Scott Bourne's not doing it anymore. Um, he's got oh. health issues going on that he's uh, okay, okay. working out, and so be- also, I mean, his his. He, he started a one-year program of doing, or an experiment, I guess you could say, of doing shooting with an iPhone as his main camera. And that year yeah. has is now up, and he's, um, but with his health and everything else, he's not doing the podcast regularly. Uh, but Jefferson's carrying it on, and he's bringing on other people as co-hosts and doing interviews and stuff. So yep. <clears throat> mine, I think, is going to be on next week. Uh, a new mm-hmm. episode came out today, but I think it'll be next week. Uh, as far as I know, that's when it's going to be out. I'm not going to say for sure because I'm not sure. But anyway, um, yep. once it comes out, I'll put a link out. <laughs> and we talk a, a little bit about Astro stuff. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, and also, uh, if you go to the iPhoneography podcast channel, YouTube channel, David Addison interviewed me about an, I- an Astro photo. Yep. <laughs> was that when he was in a little cupboard? He was, I'm sure he was hiding in a little cupboard. No, he was in, no, he was in his new he was, he was in his a, new house. Right. Yeah. I'm sure he did a podcast in a cupboard, and I'm sure you, you were on it. Anyway, don't worry. Never mind. <laughs> that might have been an older one. That yeah, there was one, one where he did look like he was in a cupboard. He, he absolutely it did. might have just been one of his English rituals. <laughs> <laughs> I started watching that video and then they started taking the piss out of the guy who takes astro photos on the YouTube channel. I was like, you know, to hell with you all. I'm going to not watch that and give it a dislike. (laughs) 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 Oh, Patrika pulled out the big ones. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to have to tag him in this now just so he has to watch it all the way to the end. To hear us He's gone to him. Romania to train to be a vampire. <laughs> 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 oh, he's going to hate me. <laughs> I don't know if it, I, I don't know many vampires, but are there many, in the movies, there's certainly not many red-headed vampires. No, it would yeah, be a first. They all seem to have dark colour, dark hair. It would be a first. Too, too mad. 
They removed the dislike button? No, they didn't. I'm sure they didn't. No, it's still there. You just don't see the dislike. You don't see the dislikes. Only the uh, content creator will see the dislikes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know if that's the case, is it? I, I think so. Go and have a look. Yeah. But anyway, um, we're, so back to uh, uh, the other podcast with Jefferson. They don't go for that long, do they? They're only a short podcast? Uh, usually about a half hour. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. And I've seen on, on Twitter with Scott, um, he's doing a lot more photographing toys. Yes. Like Star Wars he's, figures and stuff. And it's pretty clear yeah, what he's doing with it. He's not yeah. able to get around like he used to. Like he he, he yep. spent 50 years lugging all kinds of camera gear and everything else. Yeah. And I suspect maybe his knees are shot. I don't know. But um, so, you know, that's why he's just doing stuff at home now. And, and toy photography is... Um, it's a thing, and he, he does it. He does it quite well. It's it's not really my thing, but he does it quite well, um, and he does make them look good, like in in his editing and and all that stuff. And I think just about every day he gets uh, something new delivered to his house to, to yeah, make with. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> yep, absolutely. Uh, I've got <laughs> I've got vampire jokes, but they'll get me banned. Oh. <laughs> Imagine a that. A new week, a new banning for Patrika on some social media platform. <laughs> this guy gets banned like nothing else. <laughs> oh, nothing so, <laughs> the other one last thing I wanted to mention before before we tie it up here is uh, I am going to do uh, content creation on YouTube. Yep. Uh, I've had two blokes talk me into this. <laughs> Two, two one of them, one of them is wearing a, a, a white socks hat right now, and the <laughs> other one, the other one, from, from uh, Manchester, uh, who's got red hair. <laughs> I don't know if he's listening or not, but um, uh, I actually I was pressured into it on Instagram too. Um, David Addison posted something about it on Instagram, and and. He said, okay, everybody, he put it in as a story or something like that, and he told everybody to go on there and pressure me into this, and, well, one guy did. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's something I've been toying around with in my mind for quite a while, and and I think I'm going to give it a try, and, and it's going to be on my personal YouTube channel, not the podcast channel. So it's just my name, Greg McMillan, and uh, mm -hmm. um, I've got have you registered that, Have you registered that channel name yet? It was automatically done, so it's already set. So I could go and start a new YouTube channel right now. <clears throat> Greg, <McMillan. laughs> oh, it's, it's brilliant. It, it was uh, it was automatically set to that, so I'm just going to leave it to that. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. So that'll be um, your uh, your Gmail address, is it? Your no. Gmail user. Well, there's it, there's two. Two uh, channel names that, that, that you have, I guess, basically. One is your name. So mine is yep. youtube.com slash C slash Greg McMillan. And the other one is youtube.com, blah, 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 my Gmail address. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Right. Yep. So, um, but anyway, I've got like a whopping 26 maybe subscribers right now. And um, have you got videos well, on there? Yeah, a few. A lot Greg of them are McMillan. just from the iPhone photos app and I just put them on there as videos I've got Macmillan run, running that's not you no that, that's the other Greg Macmillan he's trying to corner the market on my name <laughs> oh, that he's nearly got 10,000 subs mate I can't see you if you go to youtube.com slash what is it slash C slash Greg Macmillan Greg McMillan, go one word, is it? Yeah. Look at that, 27. Oh, 27. <laughs> Smashing it. I'm still be able to monetize. <clears throat> yeah, David Addison's just followed. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the channel. You got, got 21 videos there, mate. What's going on here? Are oh, they all just your memories? 
Yeah, so they're probably going to come down when I start putting this um, stuff up that I'm going to do. And what it's going to be is about macro, obviously. Yep. <laughs> but you know what? I'm probably going to do things other than just macro. Um, yep. But macro is going to be the main theme of the channel. Mm -hmm. And I'm working on right now uh, an introduction video <laughs> to introduce the channel. Ah, okay. Yep. Yep. You have now have 31 subscribers. Out. Holy Smart. cow. Smashing it. Everyone who's so in the chat right now, just go to that LinkedIn sub and see what happens. Say that again. How many do you, do you have to have before you can actually start monetizing? Thousand <laughs> subs and 4,000 hours of watch time. Okay. Your thousand subs will be reasonably, I won't say easy, that's not, that's not right. If you, as long as you're putting reasonably good content there, um, you should absolutely like come onto this sort of thing, post on the Facebook group. You've got to get yeah. to thousand groups and promote on your podcast, obviously, and and you'll be able to get your thousand reasonably quickly. It's the 4,000 hours that is the key. That's, yeah. that's, that's the hardest thing to do. And <clears throat> the, the, the way to do it, mate, is just to keep on keep on creating content. Um, yeah. I want mine coming up and doing the uh, – you've got 33 subscribers now, mate. It's going up while we're sitting here talking about it. Cool. Um, Thanks, everybody. <laughs> um, I, I, I was watching mine, and, and I was I got to like twelve hundred subs or something before it got to four thousand hours, and it was mm -hmm. just, it was doing my head in. It just took so long to get that get that over the hurdle, the first bit. And everyone, yeah. I think everyone that's been on this channel that's a YouTube creator would tell you pretty much the same story. And then yeah. when I go and um, uh, have a look at what's happening right now just give me a second i'll pull it up <laughs> um, Do you see what you put there? right after those links <laughs> <laughs> oh dear idea oh that's it you're banned so if I, ever do, if I ever do a live stream from my channel he's going to be the first guest <laughs> <laughs> but to, to, to put it into perspective i'm getting about at the moment quarter of a million views a month and mm -hmm. it's about ten thousand hours so it's a lot wow. like ten thousand or four thousand is going to be a, a fair bit of views it doesn't have to be yeah. in a month it can be in, in it gets i think it's in 12 months um but just leverage off the platforms that you already have available Make sure yeah. it's content that people are going to get something from, mm -hmm. and you'll get it. it it'll, it'll get there, mate. And you know what? I'm not for myself as far as um, you, you know. And this is probably not the right way to go about it. But I'm not going to pressure myself to uh, put stuff out on a regular basis, and because my work schedule is not going to allow me to do this kind of thing, you know, yeah. as much as I'd like to. But mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's gonna. I'm gonna just try to put stuff out, hopefully somewhat regularly. But it may be monthly. I don't know. I, I I'm I'm not putting any um, pressure on myself to do anything. You know, within a certain time. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm just hoping to make something that people can enjoy and you know, take off. Hopefully, I can retire and get out of work and do it more. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, and I'm happy to talk to you about this off off the live stream if you want to. But I found that initially, at least, like people, any other YouTuber that I talk to, we talk about how quickly my channel grew, and mm. it's because it is unusual, and it's I believe it's because I put out so much content in the first twelve months. I was doing two videos every single week, and it was a lot of work, but I had yeah. no. I had no weddings to shoot because it was COVID. I had a lot of time. Yeah. Um, and and right now, I think if I was to start it again right now, it wouldn't be doing – I wouldn't be doing two videos every week. I'd be doing one maybe a week. Um, and, and the growth would have been obviously slower. So it's just something to be – mindful i guess of yeah, it, yeah. When, when you're doing video like what you're about to do and what i do it's like tutorial sort of content 
um, it's only going to appeal to a certain group of people. Um, when you look at like Mr. Who's the Boss, for example, it appeals to anybody who is interested in tech and anybody who takes a photo with a phone. So you're going yeah. to sub to that guy. Um, whereas what I do is very niche and what you will do is very niche and it will take time to grow. If, if you don't pressure yourself into trying to hit that target and just do it because you enjoy it, I think mm -hmm. you'll get more out of it, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want it In to be a, 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 a labor that I'm going to dislike. I just want to enjoy it, enjoy the process. <clears throat> hmm. um, I, I, I would... I would encourage you to do similar <laughs> to what I'm doing. What happened just then? Uh, my, gla my, uh, my glass is empty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 But what's no. that big? <laughs> <laughs> Greg yeah, Macro it. photos with moons in it. Instant success. <laughs> That's basically the Facebook group. The moon photos from the... The Samsung uses the the macro <laughs> photos from the iPhone users. That's 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 the bloody legends Facebook group right there in, in one yeah. post. Yeah. So what I'm doing with that 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 second channel, Greg, is just putting five videos there before I launch it, and it'll it'll. My theory is that it'll give a bit of a kickstart to that channel. People will go, "I like that." What else has he got? And if you do it with one video, like I did with my channel. Mm -hmm. I did one video and then it was another week until I had another video ready to go. But if I had five videos there, it would have monetized pretty quickly, I would think, because yeah. there's other stuff for people to look at. Um, knocking back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Pour another round, Andy. <laughs> uh. See, now you guys think that I do this live stream in the mornings because. Yeah, it just works for everybody. But if it, in, in reality, if I did it in the evening, that would be me with scotch. And we'd yeah. be getting nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's my Friday night. You know, it's it's the week of work is over. It's been a long, yep. kick-ass week. Chillax. It just yeah, so happens absolutely. I'm on a live stream at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. But I knew oh, it would be inf informal like this. So, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Not each video. Um, no, no. You, no. It's the channel. It's the channel that, that that matters. There's not per video. Per video is irrelevant. Um, it's it's uh, a thousand. No, it's four thousand hours. Four thousand hours of watch time. So you could have a thousand videos out there. Um, it doesn't matter. You could have ten videos out there. Which, however, it works. However, many people from around the world have viewed these things. The time is. Add it up to four thousand hours. When you hit that, um, you, you, when you get closer, YouTube lets you know you're getting close, and you get a little graphic that you follow along with. Um, um, it doesn't matter per video. It, per video is irrelevant. Getting nowhere. Do these podcasts ever get anywhere? Oh, no, no. Um, but hey, you're still here watching. Jokes on you, buddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I just wanted I just wanted to drag it out for a little bit more to see if we got to 40. We're still at 36. 36 subscribers on Greg McMillan's channel. Holy crap. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> for those that haven't seen it, um, please head over there. I'd like to go to 40 before we close. That'd be cool. So I was going to sit here and do this. Yeah, play Jeopardy music. <laughs> <laughs> There is actually music now in, in StreamYard, the, the system that I use here. Um, go sub to Greg. That's right. Yes, I'll thank you. Can... Where's this <clears throat> music? Because StreamYard, what? which is the system that I use here, they have music that you can play in the background now, and it's pretty bad. I'll just, I'll just play it. It's thinking music. Go and sub to Greg. <laughs> What's the, um, be it. What's be the page again. I'm looking for again? It's there in the comments. Oh, what? Yeah, how do I bring the comments up? I... Go to YouTube on your other phone. There you go. Oh, yeah. Thanks, mate. Scott uh, Baker's already left. He's like, sod you all. 37, three more to go. Greg McMillan. That'll do me. Uh, what was that? That was me. Oh, <laughs> And the friends are going. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Oh, helps if you connect to the internet. Oh, okay. Are you not monetized, Mike? I would have thought you'd be monetized ages ago. That blows me away. He's got shit loads of videos. 147 videos. <laughs> Is that the one? Oh, Mario, go, yes. No, that's... that's <laughs> I'll stop this music. I'll stop this music once we hit 40 subs. Hey, Ralph. Thirty-nine. This music's really bad. Thirty-nine still. <laughs> that is doing my head in. Ralph Mayhew. Morning, lads. Ralph, you need to change your avatar. It's still got a beard. Ah, yeah. Unless he's brought it back. It's like I'm on hold from the bloody bank. <laughs> <laughs> Your call Ralph is Hughes. important to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Ralph, can you please subscribe to this channel so I can turn the music off? This is, this is, uh, this is Mario's call. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. I'm going to turn that freaking music off. That's annoying. That must be 40 now. Must be. I don't care if it is or it isn't. It is 40. Done. Beautiful. Thank well, God awesome. for that. Awesome. There we go. We did something good today. Besides get rid of Scott. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'll be back. <laughs> All right, fellas. Thanks for joining right. me this morning, this evening, Man, whatever else you want to call. I love you and, and uh, you know, just... Keep doing your your stuff. It's just phenomenal. Is that Absolutely. me, Greg? Yeah, uh, yeah. I I will. Yeah, no. Yeah, he never yeah. says nice things like that about me, mate. <laughs> oh come on! What you what you do is amazing. You know that. <laughs> I've never seen yeah. anybody do the galactic core like that, other than Greg. When that <laughs> <laughs> when that um, when that it, uh, podcast comes out, the iPhone photo team. Or the iPhone photo show, I do say where I learned all my astro stuff. So From a book. There's, there's a shameless plug on it. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah. That means <laughs> worst way to wake up on a Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That was pretty right. bad. All right, boys. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in two weeks. Take it easy, everybody. You bet. Catch you later. Bye, everybody. See you, Greg.